Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Frecky here and it's Saturday. It's time for a bonus video. This week I'm gonna be doing a collab with other YouTubers for 20 Would You Rather questions. Stay tuned to see how it goes. All right, so Lisa over at from Dumpy to Diva invited me to do another collab with her, which is super sweet. I'm super appreciative. So if you didn't watch the last one, what a collab is where myself and other YouTubers, YouTubers get together and do a video all based on one topic. And typically in this particular round, it's all people that are on weight loss journeys, all doing different things, Weight Watchers or calorie counting, intermittent fasting, a bunch of different stuff. They have a wide variety of videos. Some have daily vlogs, some do grocery store hauls and other videos like that, cook with me stuff, all of the above. So any of that, if you're interested, look down below. A link to all of their YouTube channels are there. Check them out. There's some amazing people in there. I think I'm subscribed to every single one of them. I need to look at the list one more time to make sure because I'm pretty sure I already am because they were all already awesome. So thank you for coming to this collab. And if this is your first time to my channel, welcome, thank you, and let's get on into it. So, what this one is, it's 20 questions. I'm looking over to the right because that's where all my questions are on my laptop. And so there are 20 would you rather. Basically, it lists two things. Would you rather this or this? Explain. Move on. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. So, number one is Instant Pot or Air Fryer. For me, it's easy. Air Fryer, I love the Instant Pot. It's very useful, but I use my Air Fryer a whole lot more often like a lot more often. It's quick, it's easy, especially when I'm feeling lazy, I can just throw stuff in there and be done in a minute and go about my day. Number two is be the driver or passenger. Me, I'm kind of a control freak. I prefer to be the driver. I also get some kind of motion sickness a lot of times when I am a passenger and with my anxiety and things like that, it's easier if I can take control. Plus, like, say, road trips and things like that, when I can drive my own car there, I know I can escape because I have it, especially when I'm in a new environment. So overall, yeah, pretty much I prefer to be the driver. Number three is go skydiving or scuba diving. Well, my goal when I lose enough weight is to go skydiving. Right now, at my current weight, I can't do that very easily, especially the first time you want to do it. Um, tandem style and you can't when you weigh this much. So that is already a goal of mine. So definitely I want to say that one. Scuba diving does sound interesting, but it's not that high up on my list and it's not something I can do locally. So skydiving wins. Number four is live in Hawaii or Alaska. I am a cool weather dude. I'm not a fan of summer. I'm not a fan of heat. I'm not a fan of humidity. So for me, it's very easy. Alaska wins. I actually want to go to Alaska. Eventually, I want to do the Alaskan cruise. It's high, high up on my list. And Hawaii, while I'm sure it is gorgeous and I'm sure people love it, it's just there's nothing about it that really draws me to it. And it's not on my list currently. Number five is have a chef or a maid. I much prefer to have a maid. I like to cook. I enjoy to cook. The only thing I don't like about cooking is the cleanup. So a maid would take care of that and as well as cleaning up everything else. So that's pretty easy. I would like that. Plus I'm kind of messy. So yeah, sorry if I ever have a maid. Sorry to put you through that. Yeah. Number six is never have to do the dishes or laundry again. I would much rather never have to do dishes again. Dishes pile up so quick, I can't stand it. And between me and my roommate, the sink is like constantly filled with dishes despite both of us doing dishes all the time. It just very, very easily happens. Laundry, I don't have a lot of clothes. I do it like once or twice a week. So it's not that big a deal. So that one's easy as well. I would much rather have somebody do the dishes for me or never have to do them again, however you want to word it. Number seven is, would you rather live on the beach or in a cabin in the woods? This one, actually, I had to think about. I think I would want to say beach. 
which kind of contradicts the fact that I don't like heat. But at the same time, as far as what I picture when I think of a cabin in the woods, it's a cabin. There's not, you know, much electricity. There's definitely no Wi-Fi. There's no people around. I don't like the idea of any of that. So I guess I would have to go with the beach because if you have a beach house, you have electricity, you have air conditioning, which is my number one need. You have Wi-Fi, which is my number two need. And yeah, so that makes it so much easier for somebody like me. And I do need people around. I'm an introvert. I'm shy. I'm socially anxiety ridden, but I still need people around, especially some extroverts to get me out of my shell. So long story short, I would rather live on the beach rather than in a cabin in the woods. Number eight is never get angry or never be envious. I think I would have to choose. I would like, I would rather never get angry. I am not that envious by nature. It does happen, but I'm usually able to recognize it and move on and get over it. And I don't feel that guilty afterwards versus anger. Even if I am able to move past it, which I'm not an angry person that often. Um, but when I do get angry, I'm able to get over it or get past it, but, you know, switch off the anger, but then I'm left with the guilt. Uh, I don't really ever feel guilt from being jealous of somebody. I'm usually able to turn that around and be like, all right, cool. Yeah, I, I, was, I was envious, but I can be appreciative of how awesome they have whatever. Like somebody at work recently won a lot of money on a lottery ticket. First instinct is like, oh man, I'm so jealous. But then after that, it's like, how awesome for you. She had some personal issues going on that she was able to take care of. So that was cool. I got over it. Versus if I was mad about something, it's not as easy to get over. So yeah, I think I would rather never get angry rather than um, never being envious. Number nine is, would you rather have unlimited sushi for life or unlimited tacos for life? I would say sushi. I, yeah, it's, I don't have it as often as I like, and it's more expensive than I prefer. Versus tacos, pretty much anywhere, they're pretty cheap. So I'd rather have unlimited sushi. Plus there's a lot more variety to it. I mean, there are a bunch of different types of tacos, don't get me wrong, especially if you go to fusion restaurants like we have here, but there's a million different types of sushi, so I think I'd rather go that route. That'd be pretty fun, pretty yummy. Right, number 10, we're halfway through already. It says, would you rather be transpor blah, blah, blah. Would you rather be transported permanently 500 years into the future or 500 years into the past? For me, I would say future. The past, especially for somebody like me who, um, if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm gay. Past wasn't best for someone like me. Um, and there's a lot of stuff there versus the future. I would, I'm really curious to see how things turn out. I hope that we as humans progress to a place that there isn't as much hatred and animosity between races and cultures and lifestyles and sexual orientations and all of that stuff. And so I'm hoping it would be a better place, but honestly, you never know. It could be the wrong choice. It could be worse than 500 years ago, but since it's hypothetical, there's no way to know. So yeah, I would say 500 years into the future, please. All right, number 11 is be completely invisible for one day or be able to fly for one day. Now with this, I do have to think of what the details are like with invisible. Like, okay, I'm invisible. Um, I'm still tangible though, right? So I can only walk around without being seen and would my clothes go invisible? Would I have to walk around naked everywhere? And do I know when the cutoff is? Like, will my clothes, like, you know, will I become visible while I'm naked, while I'm like hanging out somewhere? It'd be kind of weird. Um, but, and also with the flying, is it like a muscle, like if you ran, would you be exhausted afterwards? Can you go super, super fast? Because if you can, and if you're not exhausted afterwards, I'm going to London right now. I'll just fly there be back before, you know, midnight or whenever the cutoff is. I don't know. But, um, yeah. So, and also with that, what about time zones? If it's one day, I guess it would be, just be 24 hours. Let's just forget that one. But yeah, I would much rather fly. I think it'd be cool. Um, yeah. 
All right, number 12 is be able to teleport anywhere or be able to read minds. I would say I would much rather prefer to teleport anywhere. One, like I just said, I'm going to London. I'll be back later. But also with reading minds, I, I you know, I read a lot of sci-fi and fantasy and things like that, and I just binge watched all of Babylon 5. And being telepathic and being able to read minds, there's it depends. It's a wide variety of how it works. And if it's like I can just choose to read this mind, it increases the chances a little bit, but still probably not, because I don't want to know what people think about me. Like I don't want to invade people's privacy. I don't want to make people lie to me or know if people are lying to me. Um, I like to trust people. And But two, a lot of times with like mind reading in books and movies and television shows is that it's very hard to turn off what everybody says. It becomes a lot of background noise that you're hearing. And that I, I don't want to have to deal with that headache. But also just because teleporting sounds freaking awesome because I can go anywhere I want. But what are the rules with it? Is it like, you know, do I need to be able to see it? Can I just teleport? It says teleport anywhere. For one day yeah so i don't think the rules are as strict as it needs to be something inside or anything weird like that so i'm going with teleportation do it all right number 13 is live without internet or live without ac and heating now that's just rude i it's literally said earlier in this video those are my top two like needs in life besides you know food and water um I would have to move, but I would say live without AC and heating because I love my internet. I That's how I get my books. That's how I do my audiobooks. That's how I do YouTube. That's how I record this chick over here being nosy on my bed. Um, it's how I do a lot of things and it's very, very convenient. And it, like, you know, I do hair at work. People throw up pictures from their phone of somebody that, uh, you know, hair that they want, things like that. But I'm also very, 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 very hot all the time. So I would have to move to a cold climate. So I guess going to Alaska, like number three or whatever question that was, and do it that route. Luckily, knock on wood, this is not a scenario that is really going to happen because both of those would suck. All right, number 14 is have unlimited international first class tickets or never have to pay for food at restaurants again. This one, I, I, I was so close to just jumping on those international tickets because, again, I could go to London right now. But I think more practically, I would say never have to pay for food at a restaurant again because then I could eat out every meal and order whatever I want so I could still do it a healthy way, um, get food to go while I'm there, save a ton of money, and then pay for the darn flights myself. So yeah, that that one that one solves it. I'm I'm gonna never pay for food at a restaurant again. Number fifteen is go back to age five with everything you know now, or know now everything your future self will learn. I want to say neither. I'm gonna answer in a second, but let me just explain why I want to say neither. I am a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. Everything is a life lesson that needs to happen and turn you into who you are. I, I can't learn easily from other people. I have to live my own life experiences to learn it. And things, good or bad, that I did not understand or appreciate when I was younger, it made me who I am today. So with that being said, if I have to choose, I would say um, know now everything your future self will learn because... I don't know what my future holds, and I really don't want to know until it happens, but the wording of that makes me think that I would go back to age five and relive those years. There are some things in my life that happened that I have no control over, that I do not want to live through again. There'd be some great benefits. I might have lost weight sooner or never got fat or whatever, but, you know my mom dying. I don't want to relive that. 
And as much as I am a firm believer she'd still be alive if she had lost the weight, I don't know if my child or teenage self could change that. And I don't want to. I don't want to go through losing her again. So yeah, I, I would say no. Whatever future me has to say. Number sixteen is have all traffic lights you approach turn green, or never have to stand in line again. This one I had to think about for a minute there. Um, I would probably say the line. Traffic lights don't bother me that often. I'm rarely in a hurry. I like leaving early and I listen to audiobooks in the car, so they don't bother me. So I don't care. Um it'd be cool. I'd get places faster, but still like it's not that big a deal versus lines. I am a nerd. I like to go to Comic-Cons and conventions of all types, which are basically big old line fests. If I could just walk up to, like, where David Tennant is signing autographs and be like, sup, dude, it's my turn, that'd be pretty cool without having to wait in line for an hour first. Or when I, you know, any of the celebrities I've met, or any, you know, if I want to lose weight and I can go to Six Flags, just walk right on to a ride, no problem, at a restaurant. I mean, there's so many more places that that would be more appreciated by me personally than red lights. So yeah, that one is easy. Number 17, we're getting close to the end, guys. So this one is, know the history of every object you touched or be able to talk to animals. I'm going to say I would much rather prefer to talk to animals. As much as I find knowing the history of every object would be very, very interesting, um... For me in my life, it wouldn't be that useful, and some history you might not want to know. Don't know. Um, I've seen it. I can't even remember. It was in some sci-fi thing, but it was in something where they uh, had that power, and it was useful for things. I could become a crime detective, and you know, okay, this weapon was killed, used to kill this person by this person. But um, talking to animals would be awesome. Like Miss Goldie, who's now sitting underneath my desk, and Selena, wherever she is, we could talk all day. We could chat. We could have fun. Any of any other animals? Like I love I love animals, and it'd be awesome to talk to all of them. As long as it's you know they like a way to turn it on and off because obviously most animals aren't very verbal. So I don't want to be like the telepath thing where I'm hearing their thoughts everywhere I turn. But whatever the rules are like it'd be cool all right so yeah that's that one number 18 is have one real get out of jail free card or a key that opens any door neither one are too appealing to me i guess i would say the get out of jail free card but i don't plan on ever needing it i don't plan on going to jail uh, or doing anything just because i can get out of jail free uh, and as far as the keys to any door, there aren't any doors that I need to get into that I don't have access to now. Because it's not like any door will just unlock, because that'd be kind of cool. Because then I would never have to, like, you know, unlock my car or my, my house or whatever. But it's a key that can unlock any door. Like, where do y'all think I need to be trying to get into that I don't have access to? If I, if I have permission to be there and if I have a need to be there, I have a key for it. So, yeah, um, I guess the, the get out of jail free card. Number 19 is lose the ability to read or lose the ability to speak. Now that one's hard. I, um, I love to read. I do it in everything I do. I can't get on Facebook without being able to read. I can't read a book, obviously, or, you know, any one of thousands of things that you read in a day versus the ability to speak. Um, I do hair for a living. I need to be able to communicate with my customers. I can obviously, you know, learn sign language, but um, I don't expect all my customers to know it. So it'd be a lot of writing things down, but I guess I would go that route. Um, I wouldn't be able to do YouTube anymore, but I, I, I need to read, 
So yeah, I guess that would be the route I would go. I would never be able to speak again. Hmm. All right, the last one, number 20. Would you rather have a dog with a cat's personality or a cat with a dog's personality? That one's easy because I've already got a dog with a cat's personality. Uh, Miss Selena, wherever she's hiding, she is basically a cat. She plays and, you know, bats at you like a cat would play. She pounces. She sleeps a lot. She is recluse. Like, everything about her screams cat. I mean, that's why her name is Selena. Her full name, my roommate gave her her full name because, you know, she's his dog technically. Selena Kylie Minogue. And Selena Kylie, a.k.a. Selena Kyle, a.k.a. Catwoman. So I've already got that, and I love it. She, she's she's my girl. I love Selena. So pretty pretty easy. Um, it'd be kind of weird seeing a, a cat with their sharper teeth attacking you like a dog. And um, I can't picture what else a cat would do that a dog does. But yeah, Selena acts like a cat. So I would say that one. And that's all 20 questions, guys. So... That was fun. Those were really interesting questions. I find them fascinating. Some to think about. I, I cut my answers short because I tend to talk a lot and ramble a lot. So that's why I, I you can probably tell by the editing, I recorded each individual question separately so that I could pause and think and cut it short instead of having a two hour long video. Because some of these I did have a mental debate for quite a while. And you don't need to see all that on camera. But yeah, so... Thank you for stopping by. Please check out the people below. All of them are fantastic. I'm excited to see everybody else's answers. The logic behind these are really fascinating. And just like when I did that 11 random question collab, or, well, it was a, a tag, not a collab, it's, it's interesting to see how many of us think alike. But then at the same time, it's interesting to see how the same question could be, you know, thought of a different way, which I believe is fascinating. And like the would you rather stuff is always interesting, especially when you hear the logic behind it. So yeah, so thank you guys for stopping by. And if you haven't yet, please hit the like button, hit, you know, type a, a comment and please subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when I do bonus videos like this one and all my videos, it'll notify you, let you know when I post. And so until Sunday, when I do my weigh in, I'll talk to you guys later. Sunday is tomorrow, by the way, right? Yeah.